everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. Let's see what the week of August 9th has in store. I'm going to shuffle up the cards and we'll be right back. Okay, when I first tune into this week ahead, uh, I get a sense of some disruption with possibly airline travel. I'm getting a picture of a like a Delta airline, like a jet plane, but I'm getting some type of like a disruption in service. I don't know if there's going to be flight delays. It doesn't feel like weather related per se. Um, it feels like it's more like, I don't know if there's systems, if it's an issue with um, computer issues that are like a glitch of some kind um, hopefully not like a hacking type situation uh, or somebody trying to exploit vulnerabilities in that area but it just seems like there's some type of glitch or issue and it could cause some hang-up in air travel and I think that's going to be what's going to be coming up in the news. I think it's going to be kind of a big issue or problem. So uh, if you can, you know, people may want to, if you've got flight issues or travel, you may want to go by bus or a car or something other than air. I think air is going to be a glitchy kind of feeling this week. Okay. Um, all right. So that's going to be in the news. Then um, out in the open, what's going to be in full view this week? Well, I've got the Sun card on that. That's really interesting. So the Sun card, I'm using my Ocean deck this week, but the Sun bringing light, bringing truth, shining the light on things, bringing a, a nice sense with it, but that's going to be out in the open is the truth. Having the truth be in full view is going to kind of open things up. So we're going to see a lot of movement with the truth and with clarity this week. Now, what's behind the scenes and hidden, I, I get the kind of this card, the Eight of Cups. It's a card of change, kind of a sad change. So I do think there's going to be a lot of drama this week. We've got the drama card coming in, the Knight of Swords. And it's a card about taking action, but it brings a lot of drama with it. So we'll probably be seeing a lot of that playing out. Just a lot of maybe high tension. Sometimes that Knight of Swords can bring a lot of like aggressive energy with it. So maybe some clashes with different personalities people, different opinions, people kind of butting heads. So we may see a lot of that kind of drama playing out this week. Um, okay, so what do we need to know? Now, this card, the Eight of Wands came out, but the key word is travel. I think we're back to that travel issue, um, disruption, flights I'm getting. Um, that's gonna probably play out this week in kind of a, a major way. Um, all right, so and what is the past that's influencing the present? And I've got the Queen of Swords on that. So this is a card. I like to call her the no BS lady because when this card comes out, you know you're getting to the bottom of something and you're getting to the truth of something. And it may not always be comfortable, but it gets... It cuts through the clutter and you can see clearly. And so that is what's influencing things that are going to be playing out in the news. So there's some essence of getting to the bottom of something or clarity, um, cutting to the chase, cutting to the quick of the matter. So we're going to be seeing that this week as well. Now, the future position. I've got this Ace of Swords. Really interesting cards coming out that give me some hope that there's some good things coming as well. Even though we may be dealing with some stuff in the travel industry, um, on, on, a, on a global kind of a 
generalized scale, there's some nice cards coming in with that sun and the, there's some change, some transformation happening. But this Ace of Swords, card of victory on the future, I like seeing that because this is a card about communication. And it kind of falls right on the heels of that Queen of Swords where she's getting to the truth of a matter and this is getting the truth out. So there's a lot of truth that's going to come out this week. And maybe in a big way. Um, now, the High Priestess is on the outcome. A card of inner wisdom, teaching, knowing, intuition. Uh, that's kind of on the subtle end of things. So she brings a, a powerful energy, but it's, it's kind of a quiet, subtle energy that comes with her. And that's on the outcome. So we've got, we've got all of this aggressive energy with that Knight of Swords and that Queen of Swords and that Ace of Swords and then this subtle shift coming with that High Priestess that brings like a finality. She, she really solidifies the change that's coming in, a, in kind of a cellular kind of way. She, she drives home the truth in a deeper manner. And so the truth that we're going to see come out feels as though it's going to take on a deeper meaning. It's going to mean something. It's going to take on more power, more presence with it. So in other words, when there's change that happens, it tends to last with this card present. She brings meaningful, whatever she accentuates brings meaning to it and depth. Okay, I hope that made sense. All right. Underneath all of this, we've got the Wheel of Fortune card. And this is a card of fate, karma, destiny. You know, I was, I was looking at this card, seeing what messages came through. And I just sense with that whirlpool and those fish getting caught. It's like the light coming through in the center. There's, I don't think there's any stopping the, what's, what's happening, what's coming out is actually bringing light into our situation. Now I know that things look very bleak right now. There's a lot that's going on that is very, um, very devious. A lot of people are being forced to accept things that they don't want in their bodies. And you know what I'm talking about there. Um, and it's, it's like it's coming at us in like this crushing manner. But seeing that, I was really focused on that light coming through. And it kept me feeling like there's something that is, it's all leading to an inevitable outcome that is going to bring more light and especially with this sun card too the sun coming out in any reading really does add a positive spin to it it's a it's a major arcana and we had four major arcanas out on this so i think there's some positive change coming um, not that there won't be challenges this week or difficulties, because I think there will be. Uh, but there's truth coming out in a big way, and it's it's there. It's like there's no stopping it. The truth is going to come out one way or the other, and doesn't really matter what roadblocks are put in the way. It's still going to come out. And that's what I'm sensing with that wheel underneath all of this. So that's kind of what I get for the week. Again, the caution is with the airline travel. There could be some glitches there. Um, so that's what I have for this. Um, I'm going to do another short video, probably put that one up. I'm, I think I'll do that separate video on that. I did ask some specific questions 
about some things that are going on in the news. And so I'm going to put that video out secondarily to this one. I'll get this one out first. Um, but I do want to I do want to tell you some things I'm getting um, regarding what might be coming down the road with what we're seeing with all of the kind of draconian measures that we're seeing. So be looking for that. I will be getting that video out also. Okay, that's what I have for this kind of short, but I just wanted to give you a clue on what we're going to be seeing this week. I hope everybody's doing well, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.